Okay, I've got the camera fixed now, so hopefully I can have both of my hands free and still get a decent picture. Um, I've moved the thing around until my 36 is lined up right then on my minus four mark. Now, one thing you always have to suspect whenever you check in one of these things is the flywheel key could be sheared. Not such a huge thing on outboards necessarily, but it is a possibility. Uh, you know, obviously these things don't drive into hard loads like, a, you know, a, I don't know, a, a well, a motorcycle or, or a, a, some kind of stock motor driving a pump or something like that. And I was concerned about that at first, but now I realize I'm going to put my finger here on the distributor and I'm going to take the slack out of it slightly as I turn the adjustment screw and I'm going to watch my meter over here and it goes to zero right there and it comes back and the spark plug would fire right when it goes low right there so I'm going to call that good and I'm going to set the, uh, this is plastic parts here. you got to be careful on these guys. I think the Mercury's might actually have metal parts. And there's my, there's, there's zero and there's one with a little belt wiggle trick. And, uh, I can actually do this. Um, this thing does have some slop in it, but I'm, I'm pushing the slop out, uh, so it does have a couple of degrees of slop in it, but hey, it's mechanical and it's 1976 model. So hey, what can you do? Um, so now we're we're timed. Now back to the point about having a key uh, that's broken here in the flywheel, and the flywheel may have slipped relative to the crankshaft. I look right here and I see I have about the five eighths of an inch between the block that's on the distributor that moves and the block that's uh, on the other end of the link that's that's on the uh, tower shaft I have about what the factory specs and if you got ports of factory specs your keys probably okay so everything looks good on this guy um, quick review throttle has to be all the way in the forward position stop against here and turn your engine around to the the in this case it's um, with these Chrysler's it's got a plus minus on the tab right here and uh, the four minus four plus the 36 equals your 32 you're looking for uh, the other models vary a little bit but this 105 it sets at 32 the higher performance ones I think they back it off a little bit and uh, set your make sure your belt tension is right you can use the back and forth trick to find your zero and you're looking to, for this point here on the distributor where the optical coupler comes out to be go from zero to in this case this one only goes to four these things actually have a light bulb in them so I'm thinking that this bulb in this one has gotten really dim but this boxes will usually switch as long as it goes from zero and a couple three volts so this one works fine in fact mine's got a special case here which we'll have a different video on and it this one will work probably down to about one and a half volts if I remember right um, so we're all timed up now and I can hook everything back up and give it a shot see how well it starts to idle and rev it up I do have a test wheel in this barrel but the barrels too small I can't rev it up about halfway so that'll have to wait till probably the spring before I actually get this thing out on the water the boat has some issues so hope that helps somebody and erased a few mysteries over doing this. You don't have to hang off the back of the boat with a timing light, trust me.